is the loneliest number. So I heard this on the radio the other day. I didn't know this was a Three Dog Night song. You know, I always think of them as the guys uh, never been to Spain. Right? It's about the only song I think I'm familiar with. But uh, great tune. I immediately heard the little triad things going on. So um, we're gonna mimic this piano part, right? So we're gonna start out. There's basically just F minor, G sharp major, and B flat major. So we're gonna start out trying to mimic the piano in the beginning, that little intro. So we're gonna go back and forth between two F minor triads. You'll have D on three, or G, B, E on one. And then you'll have six, five, six, four, D, G, B, E. And go back and forth uh, four times. And then we'll start walking up the other two. So you'll have uh, D on three, bar G, B, E on one. Then you'll go six, five, six, four. That'll be your next F minor. And then we'll go up 10, 10, 9, 8. D, G, B, E. That'll be your third F minor. And then the fourth one will be the octave of the one we start with. 15 on D, bar G, B, E on 13. And you can just walk them up. And then uh, from there, we're going to go to G sharp. I like to play the D string on the F chord. Just give it a little more kind of bass in the beginning. And then from there, we're just going to play straight triads. So the first G sharp, 5 on G, bar B and E on 4. The second one, you'll have uh, 8, 9, 8. Then you'll have uh, 13, 13, 11. And then you'll have 17, 16, 16. All right. And then from there we'll go to B flat major. We'll start on three three one G B E, and then we'll go seven six six G B E. And then from there we're gonna go up to uh, the D shape ten eleven ten, and then we're gonna go to the octave of what we start with fifteen fifteen thirteen. All right. So you just put them all together. going uh, C sharp major to C major. That's how you'll finish it off each time and you'll just do that twice on each chord. Alright so what we're gonna do is instead of playing four beats on just each chord like you could just go uh, what's the next word? B flat. You could just play it like that if you wanted to and just go F minor sharp B flat C sharp C so I'll show you that if you wanted to just play it that way you can just go three two one one or uh, sorry three one one and then go to six five four four that'll be your G sharp then your B flat eight seven six six and then to C sharp to C right all right so that's if you don't want to play all the triad stuff you can just do that and then you walk it down, you have uh, 11, 10, 9, 9 to 10, 9, 8, 8. All right, so that'll be how you finish it off. All right, and then we get into the, uh, the little pre-chorus part. So you play that little verse part about four times or so, and then you walk it down. We're going to go F, C, F minor, G major, G sharp major. I just use power chords. You could play the full F minor here. I just think it sounds more like the song if you just give it a, a power chord. So we'll go 8, 10, 10, A, D, G. That'll be your F. 3, 5, 5. That'll be your C. And then we'll go F minor. 3, 1, 1, 1. And then up to G major. 5, 4, 3, 3. And then 6, 5, 4, 4 to your G sharp major. sharp major we're gonna start pulsing it we're gonna hit it four times then we're gonna go to C minor four times five on D and G four on B three on the high E then we're gonna go to F sharp six have a D on four three on G four on B two on the high E and we're gonna hit this eight times right 
And from there, we're going to go to C sharp major, four on A or D G B on six. Hit this four times. Then we're going to go to C sharp minor, bar all the four from A down, six on D and G, five on B. Hit that four times. Then we're going to go to F minor, right? And it's going to hang on eight on F minor for like eight beats. <clears throat> so what I do is I split them up. I do four right here on this F minor and then four on this F minor. And then it starts getting into the one is the loneliest number. You start singing uh, the chorus. And so from there, I'll just play one chord for every two beats, right? So I'll do... still just play four beats on each chord that'll sound just fine I just like the movement of it, it kind of gives it that piano movement especially when you're playing alone it just makes the song kind of groove a little bit more and then um, from there what, what else happens so then it's pretty much that's the rest of the song it's just going through that you know thing is there's an overdriven octave guitar that comes in right and um, I think it actually comes in on a B flat but uh, I'll give you all the octaves I, I forget what order they go in but I'll give you all the ones you need so your F octave will be 10 on G 13 on high E your B flat octave, your first one will be a G on three, six on E. Your C sharp octave will be six on G, nine on E. And your C octave will be five on G and eight on E. And then you can go up into the higher register with it. You can start up here, have your F, and your G sharp can be 13 on G, 16 on E. And then you can have your B flat be 15 on G and 18 on E, right? All right. So that's the octave thing. And then the way the song ends is the way we got into the pre-chorus, right? So it'll just end by going. And it just kind of hangs on G sharp major, right? So you just... way to end it right starting on an F minor and ending on a G sharp major so it's a cool song it's at 122 beats a minute if you want to make a loop um, I just kind of put it at half time and then play double time I put it at 61 and then played double time over it so that's everything um, just practice slow and have fun